Hello and welcome to this week's Toy News Recap. So firstly a small announcement, from now on all Japanese Toy News will be featured in its own episode. So that's Hot Toys, Kotobukiya, Play Arts Kai and so forth. Uh, that will be uploaded on Wednesdays. So on with the show, firstly LEGO have had a busy week, releasing official images of their 2015 lines. Shown so far are LEGO Movie, DC Superheroes, Bionicle, Speed Champions, Technic, Ninja Go, Pirates, and Chima. For the Lego Movie line, joining Batman and Super Angry Kitty Attack for release next year are the Double Decker Couch and the Bad Cop Car Chase. DC superhero sets include Green Lantern vs Sinestro, Gorilla Grodd Goes Bananas, Black Manta Deep Sea Strike, and Dark Side Invasion. However, we're still waiting for Brainiac Attack to be officially revealed. Sets for the Bionicle relaunch include Lua, Master of the Jungle, Pahatu, Master of Stone, Gali, Master of Water, Tahu, Master of Fire, Paka, Master of Ice, and Lord of Skull Spiders. Also, rumour has it that Bionicle will be a major focus at LEGO's New York Comic Con display this year. Also, LEGO have released new official images of their upcoming UCS Slave 1 set. The images show off more of the features of the set, such as the rotating cockpit and wings, dual blasters and display stand. This will be available only directly from LEGO from the beginning of January next year. Sideshow have released more images of their Batgirl premium format figure. The one quarter scale statue will cost $399.99 with pre-orders available now. The Sideshow exclusive includes an alternate head sculpt featuring Batgirl's classic curly hair. Sideshow have also posted a preview for their next Star Wars premium format figure, Boba Fett. The one quarter scale statue will be based on his appearance in Empire Strikes Back and is available for pre-order from October the 9th. Expect more details on this leading up to New York Comic Con. NECA have released a sample image of their upcoming T-800 endoskeleton. From the Robocop vs Terminator line, this is a fully painted sample of the blue Terminator figure which will include heavy machine gun and removable backpack due out in November with the rest of the Robocop vs Terminator line. Also video game inspired, NECA have revealed their NES themed Rambo figure. This will use the Rambo First Blood Part 2 figure and is based on the 1988 Rambo video game. The 7 inch scale figure features red trousers, pants if you're American, a cell shaded paint job and includes bazooka, knife and bow and arrow. NECA have shared a photo of their next retro Mego style cloth figure, Gorilla Soldier. From the original Planet of the Apes film, the 8-inch figure will have the new Nika Type 2 body which features new improved articulation and will come with cloth outfit and rifle accessory. The figure will be on display at New York Comic Con next week and is scheduled to ship in January. Also NECA are expanding their scalers line. There will now be a series of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle scalers based on the 80s cartoon designs. There will also be a Guardians of the Galaxy series which so far includes Partners in Crime, Rocket and Groot. Mezco's 112 Collective Batman figure is now up for pre-order. The Dark Knight Returns Batman is the first figure in the line. It will be 6 inch scale, comes with cloth costume and will feature the articulation of a modern figure. Pre-order price is $65 and it's due for release in January 2015. Mezco have also revealed a New York Comic Con exclusive Breaking Bad figure. The 6 inch Vaminos Pest Jesse Pinkman will be available exclusively at the Mezco New York Comic Con booth and will set you back $40. Diamond Select have released a plethora of upcoming X-Men Minimates images. There will be four Days of Future Past sets and four all new X-Men sets. These are available now. Funko have revealed a pop vinyl X-Men version of Deadpool. Featuring the iconic blue and gold colour scheme, the figure is scheduled for release later this month. We've also been given a new look at some DC collectibles figures. In their latest DC All Access video, the trailer for the new Justice League Throne of Atlantis animated film was shown, as well as the figures that will accompany it. These include Aquaman, Mira, Black Manta and Ocean Master. They were first seen back in July and stand around 6.5 inches tall, costing $19.95 each and they're scheduled for release in January of next year. Boss Fight Studio have posted a new preview image. It shows the hard copy prototype of the Vitruvian Hack's eldest Gorgon sister, Sathino of which we saw the initial design images way back in April when Wave 1 was previewed. And a new image of Marauder Task Force's upcoming figures has been released. Shown on HisTank.com, the image shows the painted prototype figures using the actual production paint masks, showing how the mass-produced production figures will look. 
Walpole have given us a look at the unpainted production samples for their upcoming Legends of Cthulhu line. This retro action figure line is represented in its unpainted, unfinalised form here. These will stand 3 and 3 quarter inches tall and will be available from January next year. Super 7 and Secret Base have revealed their alien xenomorph soft vinyl figure. These 4 inch tall figures are cast in grey pearlescent vinyl, are available now and cost $50 each. Bandai America have released images of their New York Comic Con exclusives. First up a 6.5 inch limited edition Godzilla vinyl figure. There will also be two Power Rangers exclusives, a limited edition Tommy Oliver legendary Power Ranger key set and a Tokyo vinyl Mighty Morphin Power Rangers metallic Green Ranger. Pop Culture Shock have revealed a new preview of their upcoming Dread statue. This is a 3D print of the final design and features Dread riding his Lawmaster motorcycle. No specific info on the statue just yet, but it will premiere at New York Comic Con, so expect more information then. Also in their weekly newsletter was a preview of a second He-Man statue. The image shows the early in-progress 3D sculpt. Unlike the Dread statue, this will not be on hand at New York Comic Con as it's still in the early design stages. Gaming heads have presented their next Elder Scrolls statue, the High Elf. This is the second in their Heroes of Tamriel range and will be 1 6 scale standing 15.5 inches tall from base to top of the head. There will be standard and exclusive versions costing $309.99 and $339.99 respectively due for release in the second quarter of 2015. Triforce have revealed their new Evolve license with their latest Goliath pre-order. Based on the alien monster from the Evolve game, the 29 inch statue features LED effects, is limited to only 500 pieces, is priced at $750 and is due to ship in the second quarter of 2015. Triforce have also revealed they will be releasing Miss Moxie's Bad Touch. From the Borderlands 2 game and in addition to the New York Comic Con exclusive Good Touch, Miss Moxie's other super weapon will be available as a regular pre-order release, again scheduled to ship in the second quarter of 2015. And that's all for this episode. Thanks for watching. See you next week.